Hello and welcome to Mathematics Made Easy channel. This is your favorite mathematics teacher, Comfort and Welcome Adam. I welcome you to my class this minute. If today is the very first time of you joining my class, a special welcome goes to you. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please look down there and click on the subscribe button to subscribe. Then you also click on the notification bell to be updated whenever I upload any new tutorial. Thank you. All right, so for today, I am going to take you through how to find the surface area of um, a cylinder. And also, if time permits us, I'll go into a rectangular prism. Right. So now I'm going to tell you through how to find the first I'm going to take is how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Of a cylinder. And I hope you guys can identify what a cylinder is. I'll use this as an example. You have so many shapes that look like cylinders. Right? Okay. So now pick up your table and go with me for some minutes, please. Right. So this is the first example I'm going to look out that we are going to look. I hope I'm sharing it. Right. So this is a, um, a cylinder. Okay. Now how do we find the surface area of the cylinder? When it says surface area, we are calculating for every part of present if I am to present this as a gift to someone, I have to wrap it with what's a wrapper. So I calculate for the surface area of the cylinder. This cylinder contains basically of three parts. That is the circular part, the two circular parts. I have one circular part, I have the down, and I have the head part of it. Right. So if I'm to calculate for the surface area of this lyrical object, now I'm to calculate for the area of the two cylinders together with the curved part of the cylinder. Okay, now that is what I have here. This is the neck of the cylinder. I hope you guys are seeing everything. Right, good, okay. So this is the neck of the cylinder. If I have to open this object into part, I'll get my two circular parts, then I'll get the curved part as a rectangular form. Then if I to fold it back, I'll now get the cylinder, the solid form of the cylinder. Okay. Now let's quickly do some one or two examples. And you guys have been buying things a lot from the market or from Walmart. That is, you have been buying some cans of tomatoes, you have been buying cans of fishes and soup and other things. This is tomato soup. And it looks like a cylinder. So I'm going to take you to the first two examples, and I'll leave you to the so the first and the third, the number three, and the fifth question. Why? Because for this radius was given, and for number five, the diameter was given. And I know by now we should be able to identify the baby part of a cycle, the diameter the radio circumference called sector, but we are basically going to use the radius and the diameter over here more often. So the first example, we are find the surface area of the cylinder, right? The surface area of the cylinder. Let me enlarge it so that you all see everything clearly. Okay. All right. So then, okay. Let me take the pen. Okay, so we are good. Good, 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 good. Okay, now. So to find the surface area of this window, I now take this part out. I take this part out to, and I take the curved part out. So the first part, I'll take this circular part out, which is pi. Which is giving me pi. Pi 
R squared. This is the area of a, uh, of a circle. Plus the this circular part two. I'll cut it out. So plus another pi R squared. Then I'll cut the circular part, the curved part, which is the two pi R L. Where R is the radius of the circle. Then your L becomes the length over here. You know pi is constant. The value for pi is one three point one four, right? Now for this, the radius was given as was two millimeters. Two millimeters. So you have pi times radius given in the question is of two millimeters squared plus pi again times the same radius two squared plus two times your pi times two sine. What is the length over here, which is five millimeters? Five. Right. Then now simplify to get your final answer. So instead of using the pi r squared plus pi r squared, making it so plain to be or less years, why don't you combine it? So most of most people just combine it as two pi r squared because you have two of the circular part, right? We have instances where we say find the area of the cylinder with one end open. I'll come to that. Or with a find the area of a closed cylinder. I will come to that as well. For now, let's tackle this. We have the two circular parts, we have the curved part. Find the area of the circular part, which is pi r squared plus pi r squared, which is giving me two pi r squared. We have the curved part, which is two pi r l. And mostly all everything will be given in the question. In this diameter, you simply have to divide the diameter into two equal parts to find your radius. So from this, the diameter was given as six centimeters, which is a V, given as six centimeters. So you know this is this is a circle. A diameter divided seven into three four parts. And half of the diameter will be radius, which is a line from the center of the circle to any part of the circle. So this becomes three centimeters, this becomes three. Centimeters. So if you divide the diameter into two, you will get what a radius, which is three centimeters. Then you use that to also now solve your problem. So this becomes two pi r squared because of the two circular parts plus the cap by two pi r l. Now you have two times the pi times your average is three centimeters. And don't forget to bring your square. Then 2 pi uh, times 3 times the length has been given as for 12. Again, one more important thing. If you leave your answer without a square, that is not area. I have more students writing the final answer without a square. They write, let's say, they write uh, 312 pi, pi centimeters. If you leave your answer without a square, it is not a, an area, that is a distance. And that is what, what we are looking at. We are looking at what area. So don't forget to bring your square to it, right? So this is the area, how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Surface area, I'm kind of rushing because uh, I'm leaving here very soon. That's how to find the surface area of a cylinder. One. Find the area of the two circular parts and find the area of the curved part of it. Then for my next tutorial, I'll take you through step-by-step -step ways of finding the surface area of a cube or of a rectangular prism. Are you excited? Yay! Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your time and attention. All right, so thank you so much for your time and attention. I believe this is a real example. Practice the same makes perfect. So please keep processing it. There are so many things in this environment, in your environment that you can use as an example. You can have a real process. You can find it. In, in my previous lessons, I have proof. I think I took you through how to find the area of the circle or how, um, yeah, how to prove that 
Air myself with pi r squared. I prove it to you. I even prove how to find a pi as constant 0.141. I have it in all my in my tutorial. So there are so many resources that can help you in my YouTube tutorial. So please stay close with YouTube and it will help you gain a lot. If you have any questions, so do not hesitate to contact me through my email which is comfort at at gmail.com. And I'll try my best to respond to your problems as soon as possible. Thank you. So we'll meet again. Please stay safe and learn hard. Bye. <laughs>